Good afternoon. We're back with more Lord of the Rings LCG, and today is the Red Horn Pass in Nightmare Difficulty. This can be a somewhat frustrating quest because to complete it, you've got to wait for one of two locations to come out of the encounter deck so that you can clear them. And as there are only two locations out of 38 cards in the encounter deck, this can sometimes take a while and be quite frustrating. It's best to slow play this quest until you get the locations you need and then move on. If you move on into phase three and then wait for the location to come there, it becomes much more difficult to manage the game. In Nightmare, we get an additional card, Blinding Blizzard, shuffled into the encounter deck later in the game. As well as cards like this Goblin or Snow Warg. So getting set up, this is not a bad hand with the Steward of Gondor. Arwen is helpful in generating resources, the ally version of Arwen there. Got some additional resources in the opening hand, so I'll be able to play most of the cards in my hand. Maybe not a Hunter of Lamadon. With two Men of the Wests, it means I won't be getting back many Outlands allies later. Not a card you'd like to see in the early game. But not too big a deal. Arwen generates a resource after she exhausts. Got a threat wall of eight to start the game. Now 12. And my willpower is three, six, nine, ten, eleven, so I do take one threat. Gonna move to Rocky Crags, which forces me to deal two damage and I have to engage this goblin which requires me to deal two damage to a character so the goblin will attack her Lewin. For one more damage. So a little rocky start with a, with a wall to get over, but should be no problem. Gonna use good harvest so I can spend one of Faramir's resources on that Hunter of Lamadon. Unfortunately, it fails to draw an Outlands card. And I'm just checking what's in my discard pile to see if I'd rather get a Outlands ally back with Men of the West or use Forlong. So it's a choice between Forlong or Hunter of Lamadon, and I chose Forlong. I do have two more copies of Forlong, and Hunter of Lamadon's never coming back now since all three Men of the Wests are gone. But I still think Forlong's better in this situation. So I got a Freezing Cold, which is going to give minus two willpower to one of my heroes. But I do make some progress. Clear the location. And now I've got four long to tank attacks. I can return a little damage. Freezing Cold doesn't prevent attacks. It's a questing focused debuff. So a lot of Outlands there. Knight of the Swan will be good to help clear things out, clear enemies out. 
And there's another Ether Swordsman drawn with Hunter of Lamadon. So we're getting set up. Really at this point I'm just thinking about it's a matter of time until the location comes out of the deck that I need. And until that time we're just going to be treading water, questing relatively lightly. I don't want to pass phase one here. There's another enemy. Do make one progress. So I'm trying to decide if I want to engage one of these enemies. I'm at 26 threat. They're at 28 engagement costs, so I don't have to. Allies can't defend against the snow warg. And I decide I'm not to, going to engage anyone else right now. Attacking enemy gets plus two if the defending character is less than two. It does not. With the two Ether Swordsmen, it has willpower of three. So, and start clearing out enemies. Not much here. I'll go ahead and raise threat. Well, I'm thinking about it. This the game, the quest can get kind of long, and it's not really necessary to rush things along right now. So I'm probably thinking I don't want to do the threat. I got a full slate of HP buffs here and willpower buffs. I'm missing some defense and attack. Choose and discard an attachment from a questing character. If her Lewin had been a questing character, I could have dis uh, discarded Freezing Cold, because it doesn't say it has to be a friendly attachment. Uh, but he can't commit to the quest with Freezing Cold, so... Hmm, was I supposed to make some progress there on the quest? Five ten. Oh, no, it was 10 to 10, so... No progress, no threat. Three attack to two shields. The Hunter of Lamadon should have taken a damage there. I don't know why I didn't put a damage on him. Maybe I thought I had two warriors of loss or knockout. I don't think that's going to affect anything though. So not much there, really. Guess I could grab another Heed the Dream and try again with a new shuffle. I'm going to use the secondary function of Heed, the first Heed the Dream to grab a Warrior of Loss or Knock. And I'm going to use the second one. There's the third warrior of Lassernock, or at this point I could grab the second knight of the swan. That's a legit question about what to do there. I go for the conservative option. It is quite conservative to do this. But this is more of a just hold your ground and wait type of quest, so not a lot of need for big offensive power right now.
probably just going to quest for 10 again. I decide on 11. And there's one of the locations I need, so not too painful. No progress, no threat here. Go ahead and move to the mountain when I get it cleared out. You gotta have five victory points and Karad Haras, sorry for the terrible pronunciation, gives three. So you need another location worth two. There are two of them in the encounter deck. One of them is now active. So I can now stop treading water and proceed with the quest. The snow warg is required to attack a hero. So that'll be Herluin with his 6 defense and 7 HP. And I can easily dispatch these enemies. No problem. So now it's just a matter of making the questing progress. Avoiding any kind of unknown catastrophe. There's the final two Knights of the Swan. They are not necessary. I don't even think I'm going to bother with Heed the Dream here. There's nothing I could conceivably get that would help that much. Maybe a Hunter of Lamadon? I think that guy's in the discard pile, so... I don't think there's anything left, so I can just quest for basically whatever I want here. I decide to quest relatively lightly. I don't know why I did that. There was no reason to hang around further. I really can't say why I didn't want to move on at that point. Uh, the mountain should have had, the active location should have had two progress tokens removed at the end of the round. I don't notice, but with the amount of willpower I have available, that really isn't going to matter. Really no idea what I'm waiting for here. So I shouldn't have cleared that quest with the amount of willpower that I committed to it. However, what I had available could have cleared it easily with no problem, so... this play seems a little bizarre to me in hindsight. Can't say what I was thinking. Really can move on to the next phase any time here. Probably just going to leave that icy cavern in the staging area. Okay, so now we're moving on. Going to shuffle two copies of Snowstorm into the deck. And we're also going to need Blinding Blizzard because of the Nightmare Mode. Not real likely it's going to come up. It can depend on where you're in the deck. If you're, if you're really low on encounter cards, then that would increase the likelihood. So it should be probably two turns to finish this quest. Just going to get through phase two and phase three with one turn each due to the amount of willpower that I can bring to bear on this quest. And if I could have, I wasted one or two turns in phase one when I could have easily moved on and I don't know why I did. Yeah. Who can say? I don't know why I didn't, I should say. 
So that will clear out phase two. Just gonna leave the ice caverns there. Karad Ras is going to be active, which is gonna give minus one willpower to my questing characters. Faramir is not a questing character. And I'm checking to make sure her Lewin isn't going to die because characters are discarded if their willpower is zero. None of that, that's not gonna happen to any of my Outlands guys. It can happen to a hero in some decks though. If you quest not knowing what's coming. So now I can just quest for any amount that I want to basically. And finish up the quest, looks like maybe 35 or 40 is what I'm questing for. with plenty left over for attacking or defending if needed. Thirty-two apparently is the number. Oh, because Karadras gives minus one to questing characters, that's why it's not forty, so I decided to put a little more on it. Thirty-five. Maybe even a little more. <laughs> and I discard three resources from each hero. And that will end the game. Five victory points, 13 progress. So this can be a frustrating one if you don't get one of those two locations out of the encounter deck that you need. But in this instance, the location came out in a pretty timely manner and made for relatively quick work on this quest. So thanks for watching.